Hi everyone, I'm Molly and I use she they pronouns and welcome back to LGBT plus joy is real. The first episode, I guess we're calling it episode, was went super well and it's up on our YouTube now so you can go and check that out on our YouTube. And uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to have our second guest, Carly. Hi. Uh, and um, yeah, so they, uh, she wanted to be um, with her camera off today, which is totally fine. So here we are. And uh, yeah, so it's going to work the same way as the last episode. We're just going to ask some getting to know you questions, and then we're going to play fire round of word association this time. I know we did this or that last time. And then we have one big question. So are you, oh, there's my cat. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yep. Just Great. Okay, so first question. Favorite drink? My favorite drink? Um, honestly, probably unsweet iced tea. Like, I know that that's like, nobody really likes it because it's so bland, but I don't know. It has flavor in itself, I guess. I, I like hot tea, and I kind of like iced tea. It depends. I can't make it, though. I try making iced tea <laughs> when I just have a lot of and... <laughs> Um, do you have a favorite food? Favorite food? Um, I don't really know. As far as like something that would be my go-to just in a normal day, I feel like I would just say like plain pasta with like some butter and cheese. Mm -hmm. But like I prefer like, I'm, I have a big sweet tooth, so I prefer like sweets and stuff to like normal dinner food and stuff like that. What's your favorite sweet? I would say uh, so many. <laughs> Probably a uh, like a shoot. What's it called? A key lime pie or a lemon meringue pie. Those are two of my favorites. Or just chocolate in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pie. And yesterday was pie day. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I should have made a pie. <laughs> I should make one. <laughs> um, favorite movie. This my is my favorite a movie. Oof. <laughs> um, man. Again, there's too many good ones. What? What's the most recent movie you've watched? The most recent movie I've watched. I don't even know that, man. <laughs> um. Well. Okay. I've watched The Hitman's Bodyguard a bunch of times. I don't know if that's like a well-known movie, but it's it's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. I also like, as far as classics, The Princess Bride is a good one. And then I'm also a big Star Wars nerd, so I don't know. I don't really have a favorite movie. I just have a lot of movies that I watch on repeat. <laughs> I know, me too. I watch the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite show? Favorite show? Um... I mean, I've been pretty obsessed with The Great British Baking Show recently. Just been watching that, just binging it. Um, yeah. That show, I know. Every time I watch it, like, I'm going to make some fancy British dessert, and then I realize it's very hard, and I don't have to do that. I do know you bake. I've seen you talk about baking. What is your favorite thing that you've made? Like my favorite thing that I've made so far is my most recent thing. Um, definitely, I made an apple crisp that was like a combination of my great grandmother's recipe and another recipe my grandma just had. And it was the best thing I've made, period, ever. I loved it. And I only got one bite of it because it was from my boyfriend. <laughs> and so I have to make it again because it was amazing. It looked good. Um, hmm. Favorite song? Shoot. I like, there's one song, I don't remember who it's by, but it's called Slut. And it's like an acronym. Um, and the word stands for sweet little unforgettable thing. And it's such a power song. And it's like been the only reason that I've been able to like stay sane and like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 
just feel good about myself on any given day. Just listening to that song gives me so much emotional power. So I'll have to, I'll have to add that to my list. You definitely should. It's a good song. Uh, hmm, hobbies? Hobbies. Well, we know I bake. <laughs> um, that's been a quarantine thing that I picked up, though. Um, I make and sell friendship bracelets and keychains uh, at Harley underscore ba- bracelets on Instagram, if you want to go check that out. <laughs> um, let's see. I love drawing. I draw, like, animals in pen uh, a lot. So... I love doing that, and I don't know. I think that's it. I like playing with my cat, though. (laughs) Favorite breakfast food? My favorite breakfast food. Hmm. I don't know. I like blueberry pancakes. And bacon. I'll throw that in there, too. You like blueberry pancakes? No, I don't. I don't like, I'm very weird. If it's normal pancakes, I like syrup. But if it's blueberry pancakes, I feel like it, the syrup and the blueberries clash. So it bugs me. So I just have it plain. Yeah, that's why I'm with chocolate chip pancakes. I don't have syrup with them. I feel oh, like- oh, yeah, same. I can't. <laughs> yeah. uh, favorite fictional character? Okay, this one was actually a lot easier. I read a book series called The Legend Series by Marie Lu, and the two main characters are named Day and June, and they are like complete opposites, but I definitely have to say I love them both equally in the most extreme way possible. (laughs) Um, They're like they're really determined to get what they want and they don't they they just push back with everything and whatever someone tells them to do something they do it their way no matter what and it's just really cool so yeah you know i need i said this the last time i need more books to read i don't read a lot and i'm really sure read the legend series it's good there's three books and it just progressively gets better and better as the story goes not very long actually so uh, (laughs) uh, okay and I think that is all the getting to know you questions that so yay now that we know a little bit about you well not the people watching specifically it is (laughs) time for some your association (laughs) all right Uh, right so it's um yeah here we we're, we're just gonna go for it so Happiness. Happiness? Uh, animals. <laughs> Food. Pasta. <laughs> Chocolate. Rich. Cupcake. Icing. <laughs> Rainbow. Gay. <laughs> Animal. Fuzzy. <laughs> Candy. Huh? Candy. Skittles. Movie. Action. Clothing. Crop top. School. Blech. <laughs> Game. Sorry. Water. Ice. Home. Friends. Flowers. Roses. And finally, rain. Smell. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, thank you. <laughs> that. Mm-hmm. Um. So, our final question. I'm really upset that it's almost over. This went by really fast. Uh, what does the phrase LGBT plus joy mean to you? Well, to me, that LGBTQ plus happiness. Specifically, it kind of means like, bleh, sorry, the school alarms, even though it's not school. <laughs> um, it kind of has the meaning of like finding joy despite all of the negative 
things that are associated with who we are because like it is really hard just to have something that means a lot to you but it is so hard for everyone else to understand so it's finding that happy place within knowing who you are that just makes it easier despite everything else so it's finding the little things in it you know even though everything else is like pushing all of the negativity so i don't know if that makes sense but (laughs) totally does and i 100 percent agree uh well thank you and this was this is a lot of fun and i hope you had fun Mm -hmm. I did. (laughs) Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube, follow our Instagram, follow our Twitter. Um, I think we have a Facebook too. And (laughs) all the links will be in the description, I believe. Or I'll put the names somewhere. And uh, yeah, don't, we got to stick with Unique Tango because as soon as we create an environment that is closer towards being safe, for LGBT plus identities and accepting, we can't find time to value how much joy there is in our lives. So, well, 